recording on. I hate this game. All right. So you're all watching this for the first time. But this is the second time we're playing this because the Elgato capture card crashed and we thought it was okay. We thought we recovered it. We finished the game. Uh, what a twist. Um, <laughs> but this game honestly is probably the worst game I've ever played. <laughs> However, there there's only nine achievements. We got six of them. The other three we couldn't get. Because the ending, well, again, what an ending. Oh, yes. Um, so we're going to play it again. Hooray! I'm so excited for this. Maybe we can find a different ending this time. All right, monologuing. Um, well, this is it. Tapada de Nasasita Nadis. Yep. Hello? Oh no. Disculpe, this is in no parque. Ah, English? No. O billete de entrada custa tres euros. Ah, euros. Three euros? Sim, tres euros. I think. I think. To give him three. I I think I need to give him three euros to enter the park. Yes. Wallet. There you go. We also learned in our first playthrough that this idiot only had one coin for three euros. And there are so many things that require money in this park. Yes. And all he has is bills. But all they require are coins. Tome un mapa do parque tenha un resto de un bom dia. I said your line. I'm sorry. Have a good day. Oh, thanks. It's giving me a map of the park. Throw your wallet in the trash. <laughs> That's where it belongs. The park stretches off in two directions. I can instantly see why Katerina loves this place so much. It's beautiful. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I've got a date to meet. I've never been what you would call lucky in love. No. I left behind a string of failed relationships back in London. I guess I've just never met somebody who I truly cling to him. I know it's way too early to say, but I have a feeling that Kat Katarina, I keep wanting to call her Katrina, really does seem different to the others. I wonder why. I mean, the only I only just met her, and there we were discussing our most private of thoughts of each other. Is it normal to open up so quickly to someone? I just felt so comfortable. I never discussed the death of my parents last year with anyone until last night. That, that, I feel like that's a weird statement. I never discussed the death of my parents last year with anyone until last night. I feel like there needs to be a comma? Yeah, um, they're just trying to put too much information into one sentence, said the English teacher. <laughs> they should split it into two sentences. Maybe. It's just dot, seemed dot, dot, dot. just seemed natural, and she oozed genuine <laughs> compassion. I felt really bad about how I said that. Oozed. oozed. <laughs> I deserve a break. That's what she said to me over and over with That's a reassuring flash of her beautiful smile. A, a break. <laughs> uh, I just can't wait to see her again. <laughs> Miley Cyrus. Mm. Anyway, focus. Let's find this duck pond. Is that found in the duck pond? We already know that. Also, click this tree. I don't need to do anything with this tree. Let's right click it. This is a very droppable looking tree. Nice. Nice! Oh yeah, we can, it's like a new game now that we can right click. Yeah, now, now, now that we remember, yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole different ball game. And there's Dimitri. Dimitri the, the And there's duck. Phileo Chick. Meh. Meh. The chick? Looks more like a sparrow. It does. I like how he, like, everything else just looks like an actual still picture that was just blurred, but these ducks definitely look like cartoon. Well, that confirms it. It's a duck pond, all right. 
My new alarm clock. Like, Dimitri! <laughs> Wonder where she is! I think she even said something about a bench beside the pond, but oh my god, these ducks are so loud, it's driving me insane! Or am I making that up? My memory is hazy. Don't drink, kids. <laughs> <coughs> like this entire situation can be a bad decision was made because you were drunk last night or got drugged but that's also because the night was hazy there's another, another pond on the map to the north maybe I should check that out the duckling seems to be having some trouble getting over the curb of the pond <laughs> oh my god shut up Butt Butt crack. Crack. <laughs> I think in game for this for this game is every time he sees butt crack. Yeah. Take a sip. Pretty much. And off they go. Hopefully that gives me some good karma reuniting mother and child. Hopefully. Hopefully. What else is in this park? Oh yes. I try not to make a habit of lurking around the undergrowth. But perhaps I have. I mean, to each his own. There's the entrance. Okay, so now we're gonna go find Gardner. His back towards the tree. His flip flops bother me so much. He just lives his life <laughs> in a flip flop kind of style. He does. All right, let's look at these gates and the statue. Let's look at the statue. Wow, what a statue. Look at that statue. What a statue. So impressive. I just realized my heater's not outputting any heat, but I have it on, so it's still costing me money. Wow. Much heat. Very muddy. The Ooh. small plaque at its base seems to suggest his name is Sankus. Sankus. He has a heroic, though slightly smug expression. That bastard. Another junction! The sound of the birds chirping away in the trees is very peaceful. I'm loving this place. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and I, I took the stupid road. Both of them are the stupid road. Both of them. Hello? It's dead. I guess you have to insert some coins. Hello? Hello? I used my last coins to get into the park. I've only got notes left. Who does that? Besides, I don't actually have Katarina's number. Can we right click it? Seems rather old fashioned to date. Let's try. Leave me! It's a very old fashioned public phone. Let's look at this. There's no need to climb it. Why is that his first thought? A statue! Let's climb it! He was a monkey in a past life. I guess. A very grand plat... 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 Plat plot. Plat plot. Plat plot. <laughs> very grand plat plot. <laughs> this is a charming little secluded area. I think Char I can see water up ahead. Enchanté. Gotta go meet the gardener. Gardener time! Ah! A human life form! <laughs> I was beginning to wonder if I was alone in this place. Katarina's not here either, though. And I can't see any ducks. I guess she meant the other one. The other one! Hi there! Bom dia, senhor. I'm looking for my friend. I like how I was greeted with Portuguese. I'm like, English! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you might have seen her. Disculpe, me falo inglês. Ah, I think that means no English. I'm so smart. Very smart. I'm afraid my Portuguese is nothing to write home about either. Meanwhile, this gardener is listening to me say that to him, and he's like, what? I don't speak English, you ass. You, you dick. <laughs> Senhor. It's yours. Oh, Senhor tena cu cuidado de uma mulher estraja entre os arbustos. Tiham olhar estraho, perecio me maluca. Tena cuidado, senhor. 
I'm afraid I don't understand, but thank you for your time. Oh. Yeah. He seems distracted by like something in the bushes. He does. We, we did say that he looks like Jim from The Office. Yeah, no, but he's pulling a Jim just looking directly at the camera. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what he looks like? The guy from The Hunger Games. What's his name? Oh, yeah. Not in that, but, like, there. Yeah. Um, maybe we should show him the picture of the girl. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we're back to this. This okay. hit home. Strange living in a uh, country where you don't speak the language. Uh, it doesn't feel like you're truly there. I feel that on a personal note, and we're moving past it. Who knows what sorts of hilarious conversations I could be having right now with this gardener. If only I could pull finger and get learning. Pull the finger, get learning. But it's not even pull the finger. Remember, kids, pull finger, get learning. The best English. Best English. The best English is ones that you pull the finger for. Excuse me, do you recognize the woman in this photo? Sir? Can you take a look at the photo, please? Huh? He won't even look at it. A little rude. Give him money. I don't have any. You have notes. I don't need to give that to the gardener. Well, Whoa, excuse me. Jerk. Give me a well, You are dead to me, sir. What a nice guy. Sandals and cardigan. I look like I'm about to go to a cult meeting. A cult of New England. <laughs> oh, let's not do that. <laughs> What's an impress what an impressive domed building. I wonder what it's for. Probably Locking cults. me out. <laughs> There's a little sign beside the door, all it says is Castle Day. Even with my absolute ignorance of the Portuguese language, I'm pretty sure that means House of Adrastia. <laughs> Whatever that is. Wow, so smart. I'm so smart. Oh, I think one of the achievements was about that house, though. Yeah. Whoa, it's a pigeon feeding frenzy. Party! Weird. Whilst the pigeons do look slightly less manky than the ones back in London, I still have no intention of judging them. <laughs> manky? Like the Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a good point. Are you saying that that Pokemon is also Manky? Oops. Sorry, guys. I'm just gonna. <laughs> that was a great soft landing. <laughs> so soft. <laughs> You're like, Dark Larkin says, love so soft, you have had nothing softer. <laughs> that statue. So now is the awkward part of this game where we start feeling up statues. It's a bit heavy to pick up or move. Why you would want to do that, I don't know. And he just likes manhandling things. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing unusual about it. That's old. It's a statue of some sort of Roman or Greek god holding a swath of bandages. So many bandages. It's a pipe. Probably funnels water into the pond in the front of the statue. I can't see anything inside it. I don't see the need to stick my hand up the pipe. Sometimes you just gotta stick your hand up some Sometimes pipes. Sometimes you just gotta stick your hand up some pipes. <clears throat> some sort of Roman god. He's missing his head. Statue fan! It's a pipe or a drain. I guess this is where the water comes from to fill this little pool in front of the statue. Oh yeah, I just read that. I don't want to go around sticking my hands up random, dirty old pipes. How dare you? Maybe That's my favorite pastime. I feel really judged right now. <laughs> Good. Aha! Finally! We have some English translation. No, we some English translation. We some English translation. We some English translation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The teacher brain in me just went up. The statue on the left is Vejavis, god of healing and goodwill. The statue on the right is Priapus, god of gardens. That's uh, There's more information in Portuguese, but that's all I get here in English. Yeah. I remember Katarina saying she had an interest in classics. She must like these statues.
it look like some sort of pumping device. Maybe it controls the pools in front of the statues. I have no reason to go fiddling with pumping device. It's not my job to <laughs> scrub off the graffiti. Yes, it is. Get to work. Maybe we should right-click that. We Check will. it out. The window doesn't open. It's more of a design feature. Peering inside, all I can see is an empty room with a whitewash walls. I don't think I'm going to find anything interesting in there. Okay, so I do want to point this out. He keeps saying it's a design feature. It's an actual window. Yeah. It's not a design feature. It's I mean, a it's a feature of the house. It's a feature of the house. Windows. It's to let light in. And then also the fact that he just went to a window and he's just like, Whoa! <laughs> open! It's a large window, although it doesn't appear to open. Windows don't usually... Sometimes windows on my computer doesn't open either. <laughs> oh no, those fields all too well. <laughs> so you know what, check it. I heard a noise. Yeah, oh, I forgot that that was, that was like when I was whipping my mouse around last time. I was like, what the fuck was that? I heard a noise but over by the building. I should check it out. Okay. This game has gone by significantly faster now. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be anybody there. I think I've explained the, I explored the whole park. Have I been stood up? It's hot in just that room. <gasps> no, I can't always be so negative. No negativity in our lives. Okay, she'll turn up. <laughs> <laughs> I just need to keep looking and be patient. The trams aren't too reliable. Perhaps she's just caught up in traffic. Maybe we should leave. Maybe we should leave. Maybe I should just go back to that duck pond. Aren't you guys in it for a treat? We know what's about to happen. I think it's still going to upset me. Oh, yes. Go, flip-flops, go! He can't walk that fast. He's wearing flip-flops. I know you're like a really strange hobbit, but come on! That he seems like to flashing do. blue. What? He's like flashing blue sometimes when he walks too. Oh yeah, he's changing colors. What? That sounds so. He's a rave. He's a, a the human rave instead of the human torch. Yeah. Before, he's the human rave. <laughs> the, the only one that can make the Fantastic Four movie even worse. Part of me wishes, wishes I had fixed Miss Tasty Pizza. Mm. Yeah, right. Ah, here we go. The duckies! Ah, mother and child are back. <laughs> so dramatic. Still no sign of Katarina, though. Never stuck. What the hell? <laughs> it's not as fun because the first time we did it, I said what the hell before I clicked, and then it was what the hell. Yeah. Yeah. It's still breathing. Maybe I can help it. I feel so guilty. This wouldn't have happened if I hadn't put it in, helped it into the pond. Yeah, it's all your fault, Bree. Oh gosh, there's blood all over the little guy. Oh. I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. You are the reason that it's bleeding, but... Oh, blood. Hmm. I don't want to touch it with my bare hands. Use the picture of him and Katarina. <laughs> <laughs> Use your wallet! Butt crack. Butt crack. <laughs> Alright. I'll keep him in my pocket. He seems to be breathing okay, but definitely needs some attention. I'll take him to the vet when I find Katarina. So basically, our date comes first. There is an animal dying in our pocket. We are going to start this date... With a dead animal in our pocket. He's such a nice guy. He's why nice. don't ladies give him a chance? <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> this is turning into a bit of a stinker. I agree. <laughs> oh great, to top it off, I've got <laughs> I've got its blood smudged on my shirt. Definitely got red on him. <laughs> I have to help the duckling, I'd feel too bad otherwise. Always a sucker for cute animals. In fact, I think I'll give him a name. Now, should I do filet chick like it wasn't really? Yes. Nice? Okay. Yeah, 
Yes, Leo Chick is a fine name. It's going to be okay for Leo Chick. I'll look after him. <coughs> I heard footsteps behind me. I guess Carrie. That would be the point where I'd be like, Hi. maybe don't. Hello? No? Katarina? <laughs> well then, what's this then? What's a box? What's in the box? What's in the box? It's got my name on the top. A gift from Cupid? What's she playing at? <laughs> my voice is still so fucked I can't do like this. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Do your best. Open. And so the plot thickens. Open it. Let's find out. And the most convoluted oh. gift idea. What would have happened if we couldn't get that? Do you ever think about like how how the plan would have gone? You know, the game would just not end then. <laughs> It'd just go on forever. I'd be stuck in this part. This is the game that never ends. <laughs> It goes on and on, my friends. This blue or brains that I wanted before. <laughs> the balloon had some sort of note attached to the bottom. I can't see exactly where it's gone, but it seemed to be heading north. I should try and find it. To the north! To the north! I must say, this is all rather romantic. His ideas of dating are severely twisted. His ideas of dating kind And also of, trees and poles. Yeah. His kind of, like, he seems like a guy where his date night movie would be, like... Not Poltergeist. What am I thinking? Uh, That's a great date The Exorcist. Night movie. I love watching horror movies on dates. I don't because generally people don't have the same shock belt value that I do. I like watching horror movies on dates because it's a good judge of whether they will actually get along with me as a person. Well, that's a good point. I wonder what I have to do with this building. I don't know. Like there's to do with that building. Maybe when we put the head back, like, a key will come out the other thing or something. Yeah. Pew! That balloon. The balloon landed upon her. Secretly, she's just been hiding in the tree. She threw a balloon <laughs> down. The gardener's gone. He's left his bag behind. There's something a bit weird about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, well. Not to worry. I worry too much. I worry too much. <laughs> Fantasy idea. Skinny dipping here with Katarina. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What a creepy guy. Get the balloon. Ah. Can't possibly reach. Ah. Damn it, the balloon is out of reach. Ah. There is definitely an envelope attached to it. I need to reach it somehow. As stupid as it sounds, being surrounded by trees and all, I haven't seen any sticks or branches lying around. And I don't really want to start damaging the trees. Wouldn't want to get in trouble with the gardener. I'd like to see if I can find something else to help me before I resort to snapping trees to pieces. So instead of tr snapping trees to pieces, we're going to resort to grand larceny. This rucksack presumably belongs to the gardener. Hmm. Maybe there's something in here that can help me get the balloon. Fingers crossed the gardener doesn't catch me. Gonna catch. Catch. Gotta catch them all. Fuck him up. There is nothing much of interest in here, to be honest. Mainly little packets of seeds. Mm. Butt crack. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's totally normal. So we have a key. Dun, da, 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 I'll be sure to put it back before dun, I leave the park. Da, da, da. Feels like I should be able to go that way, too. I know. And yet... These birds are loud. Throw the are. key at them. So we already know from previous playing that it doesn't work there. Got the pigeons that look... Oh yeah, we, we need to mention. So if you've ever watched Reboot and you remember like the little glitchy slug yeah. things, these look exactly like that, and they're supposed to be pigeons. Man, I even want to rewatch that show. I don't remember anything except for like the villain's face. I remember. I remember it, like their I remember faces. What I don't remember what everybody looks like. But I remember watching it a few years back, and I remember it in my mind being so cutting edge and like it was moving in real time. And you watch it, and it's like frame by frame by yeah. frame, and it's like. Yeah, I remember it being really cutting edge. At the time. Yeah. Well, um. 
I don't know. For for some reason, I feel like the in my memory says that the main character's name was Titus, which is not true. No, the main character's name is Bob. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why. I was just like, that's his name. He he was Bob. He had the little thing that was a glitch. And it let him go into games. And then there was Enzo. And then Enzo, Enzo got sucked. Enzo was the one I was thinking about. Enzo got sucked into a game with the other girl, like, a- Adriana or whatever. Hello? 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 Hmm. Hmm. The door is locked. The door is locked. Or is it? I, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Open sesame! Ha ha, sesame I wonder seeds. what's inside, ha ha ha. I wonder what's inside. Probably, you know. This body Monster. Head. There's no sign of anyone in here. It's just shells of dusty gardening equipment and lots of manure. Very stinky manure. Extra Because secretly, the garden was shitting in the past. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Pop filter, no. Alright. There's a two-meter-long telescopic hoe here. Whoever can find me a picture of a real telescopic hoe, can you leave, like, a link for me in the comments? I'd really love to not have that in my search history. <laughs> that might help me get the balloon. I'll take it. Nice head. I think I'll take it. I bet you will. Whoa. Whoa. Excuse me. I know. I tried. I was quoting Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> oh! I didn't actually pick up on that. I'm sorry. I thought it was just like an obscure sexual reference. And I was like, no. okay. I do not want to have anything to do with uh, Lou. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with Lou as a person. Lou and me just don't gel. Yeah, I don't really gel with Lou, despite the fact that we're oddly the same person. Yeah. Do you, the- do you f- change color when you walk, too? Always. It's my highlighter. I just strove from room to room. Strobe, 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 strobe. Despite the fact that my highlighter is like, what, $4? Oh, look graphic. Fantasy idea. Skinny dipping in here with Katarina. Oh, yes. Yeah, you've had that wet dream a lot. Let's just get past it. I have a lot of trouble. Uh, I went to the pond. Oh, right. I forgot that we have to be very stupidly specific about this. This should be long enough to pl- pull in the balloon. Now watch carefully as he whips it out. Oh, yeah. This is where the entire budget of the game went, was that animation. He put the balloon back in. <laughs> he put the balloon in his pants. Dear Lou, I hope you don't mind, but as you said last night, which I don't like the way she handwrites her S's, uh, that you enjoy mysteries so much, I thought we'd play this little game. I hope you like the song. So I have an issue with it, not because, like, these are the proper ways, like, for to do the S's, like, these ways, but then she has, like, regular S's that are detached, and it's throwing me off. I know that's not important, but it just bothered me. English teacher problems. <laughs> Actually, no, that's just because, uh, I think in my elementary school, my class was the last one that was required to learn cursive. Oh. Yeah, so I was required to learn cursive in third grade. I had, like, cursive textbooks. Yeah, we did too. Yeah, so like it's just I look at it now and I'm like that's wrong. I, I think probably... there was like a mix between like non cursive and cursive. Yeah. Like block letters I and hate it. cursive. Well I do like mysteries. We talked about it last night. She was amused by my subscription to Fortean Times. Is that a real thing? I think it might be like Fortune Times. I wonder if this constitutes a normal date in Portugal. This doesn't constitute a normal date anywhere. If somebody invites you to a park and a duck eats another duck, and there's a box with a letter that is attached to a balloon that magically flies away, but you're able to get by breaking and entering into somebody's shed. Leave the park. Yeah. Call the police. I mean, that's a, a few steps away from my typical date. I mean, yeah. I mean, that sounds a lot like your uh, Sunday night. but Yeah, but that's not a date. That's just Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that's just Sunday. All right. At least I know she's in the park. I've got butterflies in my stomach. But before I can see her, it seems I shall have to indulge this game of hers. Who knows, this could be great fun. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho. Now what does she mean when she says, I hope you like the song? I should take a look around, I guess. Yes, 
Yeah, this game is moving, like, so much faster now that we have an idea of what the hell is going on. Yeah. And we know where everything is. Yeah. The map was probably the worst part about this, because we were like, where do we go? There's like, let me check that off. There's one more, there's two more achievements that we have to figure out. Butt crack. <laughs> Alright. That's a stone head, looks like a Roman god or something. It appears to be freshly uncovered. By pigeons? pigeons? <laughs> oh, such nice pigeons. The strangest thing about this is there's an A carved into the forehead. Is this a treasure? Am I rich now? I'll ask Katarina about it when I see her. Wow, I'm in a public park where nothing belongs to me. I found this statue head. Clearly it's mine. I'm rich! I recall she studied. She said she studied classics. Weird. We have to find a way to, like, uncover this. How? How do? How do? <laughs> this took us a good 20 minutes to figure out. Yeah, it did. So I'm really glad that this is like. But that was mostly because we were only clicking one Yeah, way. we were only clicking one, one button. I'm amazed we got this far <laughs> into the game by clicking only the one button. I mean, we might have missed certain things. Ow! Chick fil a uh, filet chick bit me. That stings. Right here. My heart. But the poor little guy must be getting distressed. Not too long to not long to wait, buddy. Don't worry. I've just gotta put my like penis needs before your life. I think he deserves to get bitten. The music is louder here. It must be coming from around the statue. Peering into the pipe, I can see the faint glint of the object. I'd like to see how he how did he look in there? It looks like a tiny box. Are they using dots? I think you should leave. Wouldn't that be an ideal situation? It looks like some sort of pumping device. Interesting. Maybe it so controls the pools in front of the statues. You don't say. <laughs> wonder if this can help me get the music box out. Alright. Cool. Cool. They refilled with water is what he said. Yes. Nothing else important. The small battery operated music box, there's nothing remarkable about the inside. But I wonder what's inside. Well done on finding this clue, dear Lou. I hate it. <laughs> as you can <laughs> see, as you can see, I've lost my head for you. I still hate it. <laughs> Come and meet me at the home of Priapus. Smiley face. Smiley face. X X X. Little did we know that it stood for like stab stab stab. Finally, it looks like I'm going to see her. This is getting rather exciting. All right, yeah. Leo chick, let's go. Throw the, throw the duck Although, away. what does she mean by the home of Priapus? Another wanderer once. Yep. Put him in the pipe. I need to. So it's visions of Andreastia. It's an odd building. There's some sort of bust figure on it. Maybe it used to be a greenhouse or something. There's a bust of some sort of female figure there. Perhaps this is Andrastia. A goddess of some kind, perhaps. I don't know. My classics very well. Boom! Boom or bust? Or bust. Lol. Alright, so. There's one more. It's. I'm gonna look through the list. Good Samaritan one. Yeah! Now there's a good boy. Now make your way to the screen with the graffiti on the wall. Dun, dun, 
makes way that makes a lot of sense if you're thinking did they just look up how to get these achievements yes but that's because there's no description and it's very convoluted did you put the key back yeah that makes sense guess i can put this back now butt crack I have all the achievements to this terrible, terrible game. That's great. You must feel so proud. So proud. I mean, it's a great game for being free. Yeah. But if I had the option to pay even one dollar for this, I would say no. I mean, I feel like it's one of the, it's like those free escape room apps. I guess. Except like a game. Oh, so I guess that's the head of the uh, statue in there then. Yeah. I feel like we have all of our achievements now, right? Yeah. That we have all the achievements, but I feel like there's so many things in this game that are left unanswered. Yeah, like, like the, he just kept saying, like, the gardener was creepy, but, like, how is the gardener creepy? I mean, that would be a nice light also, to go to the bathroom. Yeah. I wonder if it's Sam who's that. The rambling symbolism of some local teen, no doubt. Dar youths! I wonder if there's gonna be like um, a sequel or something to explain more things about this. Maybe this is like a demo because the other one looked different. When yeah, there was also shares. unlockable. There was like extra content that you could pay. Yeah, for. there's a DLC. That's true. I am not buying the DLC. It was fifty nine cents. All right, if you guys want to watch me play this <laughs> piece of shit DLC. <laughs> I'm gonna need, like, I don't know, a thousand views and then I'll do it. I have low standards. Uh, or high standards, it depends. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm likable or not. I like you. Well, that's nice. <laughs> that's one. Hooray! Uh, well, it's a bit small for her to pop out of, so I guess it's another clue. I don't know. She might be really flexible. Oh, like it? Yeah. It's got my name on it. It's got my name on it. Woo! Let's see what she has in store for me now. Egads! What, what the, the hell? hell? Jesus. It's the gardener. He looks not surprised at he, all. He doesn't look surprised. He's just kind of like, like uh. <laughs> She's killed him. What the hell? I, I, I can't believe this. I need to get out. The bloody duckling bit me again. I like how he just keeps, like, rubbing his nipple. He's like, why? Take the bird out of your pocket. It, things have been murdered. Things. People have been murdered now. Throw the duck away. Your life is at stake. Um, he's a good Samaritan. Just because they put key a key back. back. Gardner's dead. No one gives a shit. We didn't know that. Go steal that key again. Time to disappear into the night. Oh, should we have looked through that game as well? Oh, it's too late. No. Sirens! I can hear a siren. What the hell is going? I can hear the bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no! oh we, we went through this way too fast last time. The phone is off the hook and it seems like someone is on the line. Someone has been here. Yes. It's not it's not Perhaps I can alert this person to the situation. Perhaps I can. I hope they speak English. Hello? There's been a murder at our desk, Nassau Cedars Park. Please contact the police. Un police. Un police in estrada y dentro de algunos minutos. So clearly, like, with all no knowledge of Portuguese. We already kind of understand that the general premise of this is that the police are on their way. As we can hear from the siren. Arg, I don't understand! <laughs> He's hopeless. Click. Bye. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> I sing it like the most popular girls on. Bye! <laughs> they hung up. I should just end all my phone calls like that from now Bye. on. Bye. I once got dared by somebody to, um, answer my phone saying this is a go for Allie. 
What? <laughs> I'm gonna say that again. I I got a dare where one of my friends asked me to uh, answer the phone as like this is a go for list. Oh. And like, yeah. It was really really dumb. I she had like a really big thing for like the song uh, Major Tom or whatever the heck it's called. Oh yeah, yeah. Ground Control to Major Tom. Ah, ah Egaz, Arg, Arg. It's the rest of the gardener. Nice head. How did she get him it. here? Did she kill him here and then take the head? Probably. Boogie feet. What about the guy who works at the front window? Yeah, that's true. Pare fik onde esta? Now se mexa mouse ao ar. Ponha as mouse no arja. I kind of sound like I probably like it's either Klingon <laughs> or it's Java the Hut. Yo, Java the Hut. Java the Hut. Living the life. I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. Do you speak English? Ponha mouse no ar. So probably no. Fik on the esta o en o desta nyao se mexa. I haven't done anything. Kause. Arg! It bit me again. Now time to reach for our nipple. Nipple time. Levante a mouth a largo arma. Oh, he's not letting go. Wait. What crack? Job well done. What a good police officer. O sespito esta no chao. Repito, u sespito esta no chao. Posso confir confirmer que a vitima esta morta vol procurar. Sorry to anybody who speaks Portuguese. Peste menhua que fez a chamada MVM. Reforcos se faz favor. Okay, I cringed at me saying that. I'm so sorry. I wonder who that is. Ouch. Well, at least she dressed up for the occasion. Yeah, she looks like she's going on a nice date. Right in the temple. Pew. The way she goes into la, the park. La, 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 la. Now we got a little nipple biter. And then, yeah. Fileo chick. Fileo chick. Mommy, mommy! Bye, bye Fileo chick. And that was a date in the park. <laughs> that's about as good as a date with me ever goes. Yeah. So, I mean, that's to be expected. <laughs> now we're subjected to listen to this because we can't actually exit this because yes. it'll corrupt the file. Exactly. <laughs> Japanese teacher had an original copy of The Ring on VHS. That's creepy. I would not watch that on VHS. And, <laughs> but see, I don't give it. I don't care. Yeah. And I, but I remember going to her office and I was just like, "You have The Ring? I love horror movies." And she went and she's just like, "Do you want it?" And I was just she says, "If you don't take it, I have to bring it to Japan and I have to do a goma ritual." I was just like, "You're going to burn this VHS tape." Because she's just like, it's cursed. And I was just like, it's not cursed. And then I was just like, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it off your hands. And she's just like, thank you. Thank you so much. And I was like, calm down, sensei. Like, this is not normal. <laughs> and so, like, I took it home. And then when I was moving from my dorm back to, like, my hometown, I had to get rid of everything. And I remember just, like, chucking it at Valley Village. So you're saying that your house is now haunted by Tuck? I'm saying right? that uh, someone from Value Village now owns a tape that I never watched. <laughs>